Channing Tatum has recently signed on to be part of the project The Forever War. Now, this movie is based on the 1974 novel by Joe Hadelman um, of the same name, uh, The Forever War. It actually has a pretty interesting screenwriter already attached, John Spates. Um, he's also the guy who wrote Prometheus. He's going to be writing the Doctor Strange movie that Benedict Cumberbatch will be in. He's also writing one of the Universal, uh, you know, monster movie universe movies, and he's writing The Mummy. So that's pretty interesting. Um, and then you also have Sony and WB in a bidding war to kind of get the rights to this movie to, I guess, distribute the movie. So all this being said, it, it looks like it's... It's probably a good idea. It has been in production purgatory for a very long time. Now, like I said, this is a 1974 movie. I believe these guys have been working on it for about the past five years. But everything's moving ahead, forward. And the reason I want to talk about it is because it's not a movie that I, a book that I'd ever heard of. Brennan, had you ever heard of this book? Nope. I've heard of many books. Yes, Unlike that's you. what I'm saying. What? I've heard of a lot of books. Have you? How can you just say I haven't heard of a lot of books? I, I, I hear books. I hear of them. Yeah, yeah. you hear books when they have, you know, movies coming out about them. Well, that doesn't mean I haven't heard about them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, but yes. So it, it just, it looked, it sounded pretty interesting. So I just wanted to kind of catch people up on, you know, what this thing might be about. Because it's a pretty cool concept. So the Forever War takes place sometime in the future. Now, when I say the future, I think in 1974 when it was written... It actually takes place in like 1997. So the future for the book <laughs> didn't quite turn out like it did for us. But what, what happens is Earth is now colonizing all the other planets in the solar system and beyond. So there's a bunch of colony ships heading out somewhere and they're randomly attacked by an alien race called the Tarans. So what happens? Well, Earth is going to war now. The human race is going to war against the Tarans because, hey... They are attacking our colonist ships. So the story follows a guy named Wilson, uh, yeah, William Mandela, which I thought was an interesting name. Because in 74, Mandela was just barely going into jail, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay, Brennan, I have Mandela, no idea. Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Kind. So I thought Nelson that was an interesting. Williams, yeah, not super similar, but they have two syllables each. <laughs> well, Mandela, yeah, but well, I mean, yeah, that's that's all I was going for. But um, but so William Mandela is a physics student um, who is he's conscripted into a special elite army unit, or I guess it wouldn't be army because army is really on the ground. I don't know, space marines, let's call them. And uh, there, it's a task force being put together to go battle the Tarans. And now this is a pretty special unit because if you, to make it into the unit, you have to have at least a 150 IQ. And you have to be exceptionally physically fit. So this is the best of the best that the humans have getting put together. So the story really goes from him getting conscripted into the unit. Then they do a little training on Earth. He goes out into space and does a little training. And apparently Pluto wasn't a planet back then. 1974. When did Pluto become a planet? I don't know. Then they got rid of its planet status. Yeah, now it's not a planet so. anymore. But it's one of those things. But apparently, because I was when I was reading up about it, it was like supposed to take place on Pluto, but it was like before Pluto was discovered. So, you know, this is where the second set of training goes, and then it goes into his encounters with the Tarans. So, um, it, it's pretty interesting there. Now they do have these weird like wormholes that can like shoot them from across the, the galaxy, you know, light years and light years. That's the only way to really travel really, really fast. So and they have, they have ships. Technology, they just have wormholes. Something like that. They call it something different. I can't remember exactly what it is. Um, but then also you have ships that can travel pretty close to the speed of light. So they, they kind of, they're fighting these aliens, and it's supposed to be kind of a Vietnam War analogy because um, Joe Hadman, Hadelman, uh, was in the Vietnam War, and so you'll start hearing some of the themes pretty soon. I'll tell you about them, but like the first encounter with the Tarans is supposed to be kind of like a massacre, where like yeah, they're the bad guys, but these are like civilians and they don't put up a fight, and like the, his unit goes through and like kills them all and stuff like that. So you you, you can kind of get that. But then the other interesting thing, maybe the most interesting thing I thought, is that the war is not really going to take the whole movie, or it doesn't take the whole book at least. Because um, when so you're traveling through, 
Huh? Does yeah. the, the war end? The forever war ends? Yeah, I, I guess. I, I don't know. I haven't read the I'm book confused, yet. I'm confused, and I'm disappointed. I thought this was a forever war. But, uh, well, he, he comes back to Earth. But if you know anything about travel at near light speed, the faster to... Which I know over, everything about travel near light speed. Well, I, I do, that's too. That's my... But the theory is the theory is that the faster you go, the closer to the speed of light you go, the slower time moves. So when they warp through these places, they're going super ultra fast. So two years passes for him, whereas decades and decades passes on Earth. So I think about halfway through the book, he comes back to Earth, and everything is totally completely different. So uh, I, I just think this is a pretty cool intro. Uh, idea for a movie. Now there are two more books, which is funny because the first one was written in 1974. The next two were written in like 1997 and 1999. So there's a pretty big gap in between there. But we are we are probably going to see a trilogy of movies. And with Channing Tatum signed on to to be the lead actor, I, I kind of you know I, I don't think he's the greatest actor in the world. But he's done some good roles as of recently. Uh, he will be in the new Gambit movie. Um, I have liked a couple of the action movies, at least, that he's done. Now, I'm not saying it's a great movie, but I had fun watching White House Down. <laughs> you know, that was, you turn your brain off, it's a decent action flick. And he's done some other good things, like I love the 22 and 21 Jump Street series. That was hilarious and entertaining. It's probably Is he going to be in the, uh, the, the next, the upcoming uh, crossover one with Men in Black? Hmm? Oh, you didn't hear about that? The 21 Jump Street uh, crossover with Men in Black? Oh, that makes no sense. That's, the, you didn't, that, that's what they're doing. Well, hey, uh, here's an announcement for you guys. 21 Jump Street, Men in Black crossover. That makes no sense. Now we got to sabotage this topic. Now we got to talk about that. Cause... No, no. <laughs> we will talk about that for another time when more details come out about that. But, yeah, so so I am kind of excited about this movie. Just to ask, out of everything you've heard, Brendan, would you, is this a movie you... Okay, let's, let's just make it seem like you actually go to movies every now and then. Is this a movie you would want to go see? See, as long as I can be reassured that this war really goes on forever or longer than the movie... I think yes. part of the Forever War Montif is uh, that it took him decades, whereas, I mean, it really was only two years, but it felt like decades. So I think that's part of, like, it went on forever, but yet it didn't. Okay. I don't accept it anymore. Okay. All right. So Brennan's not going to go see it, but I'm excited to go see it. So hit us up. Let us know what you think. Is this a movie you'd be interested in? Obviously, there's some studios, big studios, Sony and WB are both bidding on this one. So it, it should get a good budget and it's got an interesting writer. So hit us up. Let us know what you think. Comments down below, of course, at Where's My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.